at about three o'clock on, you're going to be maybe even two thirty. You're going to be getting some shade around here. Yep. And feeling feeling good. It makes a difference, doesn't it? It's so huge. A big old steel box beam to carry that long span. It's pretty too. Yeah, and we took out the post in the middle. Yeah. So we so we don't have any obstruction Ooh, here. It feels nice. We just nice. went to a taller beam. I did it, not. It know. already feels different under here, doesn't it? Yeah. I didn't know that it was going to be this tall. I know it's awesome. It. Yeah. When I saw the post and everything. It feels so much nicer. So we got a we got a shot. We had a shadow just a few seconds ago. It'll come back when the cloud goes away, but it shades a good portion of the pool already. Yeah. And that's got to make a difference on the temperature of the water, even in the hot summer. Yeah, I can just see them. They're all going to hang out right over here. When, oh, in yeah. the summer. You know it at yep. this time at, at about three o'clock on, you're going to be maybe even two thirty. You're going to be getting some shade around here Yep. and feeling feeling good. And now What's what's those posts? So that for? shade starts about right here, and then we get this pergola back here. All of this is for ah. the pergola, and that'll give allow the smoke to go through for the barbecuing, and cast a nice mixed shade yeah. for the seating that goes under here and all the furniture. That's nice. It has a tech shield. Radiant barrier deck. Yeah, that's why it feels so, so cool. Yeah, it, it may, that's why you're noticing it already that mm -hmm. it feels cooler under here. It's reflecting that heat back up. And the paint, I like the paint. It matches the house. Yeah. And, and the then, and then the, all of this, all of the, the wood's going to be a, a similar tone. Oh, that's cool. Uh huh. So it's really going to tie in nicely. Yeah. This opened up the space. Taking that beam out was just the right call. Oh yeah, definitely. So, but that's a thick steel beam up there. So now let's look at some of the detail here on how we fastened them. So another cool thing is when you're going from steel to wood, you got to have a bracket. So these beam, we had custom welded all these brackets on there. Oh, wow. A little heavier than I thought they would be. Man, that's that's some heavy duty. <laughs> you got big one big bolt on each end here and on that end as well. And there's going to be no uplift. All of this is welded and bolted down. You can see the, the big plates we talked about last time. But all of this just secured down. So this can be lifted up if you didn't secure it right. High and winds like that tornado. we get, even sometimes 70 mile an hour wind. Yeah. This is not going to go anywhere. Wow. Because this is preventing uplift. These bolts all prevent uplift. That's good. Yeah. Real good. And this is going to have a, a wood ceiling. So that's going to look incredible. And then the pergola here, let the smoke go through. But man, yeah. this is just about ready to start partying on. Huh? Yeah, and their outdoor kitchen comes in too. Yeah. Their island. Nice and solid. Oh my goodness. The outdoor kitchen is going to be nice. Mm hmm. All right. I don't know. I'm liking this. This is one of the coolest ones we've ever built. Yeah. With all that big free span. Now we know next time, don't put any posts in the middle. We don't do posts. That's not the KM way. We right. open stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Looks awesome. Who can't wait for next week? I'm ready to swim.